<clears throat> All right, the reason I'm studying jiu-jitsu is I'm noticing the police officers are going for the throat. <laughs> I go kill somebody, idiot. No. There's other ways to subdue somebody than going for the damn throat. <laughs> You're going to cut off their extra time, they're going to die. No. Here's an idea. So do them by joint locks, right? Using the arm. I know. If you break the arm, okay, they'll survive. But what the joint lock does is it keeps them in pain until you can get help. Mm -hmm. You can hold a joint lock forever and... The pain will keep them down, right? Now, it might be a little difficult if they're on drugs or something. Yeah, yeah. They don't feel no pain. Yeah, right. But here's the point. I know. Even if you twist somebody's pinky or fingers a certain way, it's going to cause joint pain, right? And that'll subdue them, right? Usually, too, right? Hitting somebody, whether they're on drugs or not, might not even affect them. Like when I went out in the street naked um, because of the heat in the trailer, right? As it was starting to become spring to summer and all that stuff, right? Now, normally, I don't react that way. Mm -hmm. But the heat, the paranoia, the not having a steady income, living off of just food stamps, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Watching only TV, wanting a girlfriend, including Melissa Joan Hart, nothing personal towards the actress. <laughs> Again, mm -hmm. But knowing Melissa Joan Hart is way away from me and I can't get to her and that would be crazy, right? So some of me was still there, but some of me wasn't to where I went up in the street naked, right? Now, because of, you know, nudity laws, yeah, I got arrested, got Put in the psych ward, yeah. <laughs> but that only happened what? One time, one time. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen again, right? I'm going, not gonna let myself go that far, but there again, I needed a steady income, right? That was the real problem there, right? Not just the mental illness, not just the nudity, not just seek needing help and no one was really helping me, not my family, not my friends, right? But it's also called hitting rock bottom. You can't do nothing yourself, right? But that got me before the judge who put me on 10 years unsupervised probation, right? And I made it past the 10 years without an incident. I know. That was in 98 to 2008, right? And I kept my nose clean. I didn't do nothing stupid again. You know, of course, we do my own truck violations, and I know. But even by then, I was doing, getting good at driving, right? Hadn't been in an accident in about two or three years, right? I think by the time I got to the key, it was almost seven years, sorry. Which was about 2017, right? But like I said, even when an accident happens, I try to work it out. Mm -hmm. I try to tell my side of the accident, even if the person won't listen, right? Like one time I was coming up behind 
people who were in the wrong lane, all right, stopped, and I'm going the speed limit at 45, and I couldn't stop in time, all right? Because they were in the wrong lane, all right? <laughs> to make a turn, right? There was two lanes, all right? One was for the turn, one was for the regular traffic. They were in the lane for the regular traffic, and I couldn't tell the officer there either what was going on. He wasn't listening to me. He was more concerned with what he considered to be the victim than with me. It's not the first time I had to run over with poor Wentworth either, but again, mm -hmm. you can't do something if someone won't listen unless you take him to court like I did recently. With him pleading sovereign immunity doesn't mean he did the right thing, right? So maybe I can go after the bus driver later on, right? Or the bus company, even, right? Chris. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the point. People need to learn to not always resort to violence if you can talk your way out of it. Mm -hmm. Now, when someone accuses you of a crime, it's different than calling you gay, right? That's slander. Again, mm -hmm. if you know you didn't do all that, right? Now, hobnobbing with Russia, for example, mm -hmm, doesn't mean, again, Trump knew mm -hmm. anything about Russia's interference with the election, whether they were or wasn't, right? But of course, mm -hmm. if they want him in office, right, <clears throat> they're going to go against Hillary. Mm -hmm. But what do you expect from Russia? <laughs> I mean, you think they're going to put in Hillary if they want Trump in, right? No, they're going to try and get Trump in, right? If they want Trump, right? It's not your choice, it's Putin's choice, you understand, right? Had nothing to do with you, you or America, right? It was what Putin wanted, right? Right or wrong, right or wrong. <laughs> He's kind of the new president dictator over there, right? He controls what goes on. He's still in office for some reason, right? And no one has, you know, got him out of office yet. Okay. We can't do this here because of how the founding fathers set up the Constitution, right? You also cannot use sovereign immunity because there's no crown with which to use that defense, Right? Coronavirus don't cut it. You got to put a crown system where the crown is above the law. Mm -hmm. Right. And even if you break the law, that's what it means, right? You're not going to be charged with the crime, right? You commit it, right? Now, only ambassadors, right, from another country where there is sovereign immunity get that sovereign immunity easily. Even if they commit a crime, I know, right, right. Even though, mm -hmm, okay, we're no longer a monarchy, right, which is what sovereign immunity means as well. You mm -hmm, are the one mm -hmm, who puts the president in office when you vote, mm-hmm. But the president is not a king. He's, we're no longer a monarchy. We're a democracy. Mm. Now, even though the electoral college is set up to where the two senators who vote, mm, which are special senators, right, elected differently than other senators or congressmen, right, they can be Democratic or Republican, but according to the vote of each state, whoever one party won is the one who you vote for mm -hmm. in the Electoral College, right? When you vote for that person, right, 
according to the votes of that state. No one state like California, which had over 3 million more votes for Hillary, right, can determine the election even under a democracy. Even under the democracy. You're forgetting all the laws we taught in school. <laughs> there they are. That's the whole damn problem. <laughs> okay, each state gets the vote. Mm hmm of the final say so in the electoral college. It had nothing to do with Russia. Mm -hmm. It had nothing to do with their interference or the interference, right? The final outcome was determined state by state mm -hmm. by the majority of the votes, right? For Republican or Democrat. Mm -hmm. Now, I think there should be an independent party, third, a three party system, since we claim to believe in a trinity of gods anyway, whatever it is, right? You're talking this male and female or thrice male. Which see if you have a father and a mother, you can't have one without the other. <laughs> you can have a son, daughter. And once you have the child, their son and daughter is within them. Three children, right? Father, son and Holy Ghost, future generation. From the moment the child is conceived, right, till the time they're born, and hopefully they won't die of anything, shouldn't have to die of anything unless they start doing each other under the knowledge of good and evil and condemn each other to hell. Mm -hmm. Now, that still don't mean you don't have rules in place, right? You got to have rules or you have anarchy, right? But the rules have to fit within all religions, within all laws, right? Right. And sometimes, okay, accidents happen, right? Mistakes happen. Someone's attacking you, so you defend yourself, right? You should have self-defense laws, right? Rape laws to prevent rape, right? And they got to be stiff laws, not little slaps on the wrist, Stalking laws, right? See, even though Melissa Joan Hart is a figure on TV, I never thought that I would even meet her or get around her because I learned very early on, like with Playboy, girls in Playboy, you can't go to the Playboy mansion and meet one of the girls, right? You stay where you're at, and if one of the girls comes to the strip club or something, you can get a lap dance from her, but that's it. <laughs> no. Even if you see that, she'll lick her pussy a little, no, sex, in the champagne room. <laughs> you can't pay for sex, but there's also something called free sex. See, that? that's the difference, too. You're forgetting about free sex, right? See, if she gives you free sex, that's not prostitution, right? But, mm -hmm, you're paying for a lap dance. You don't pay for sex because that's prostitution. That's got to be given consensually and free. I know. That's called free love of the 60s, 70s, and 80s where it started kind of becoming prostitution. <laughs> now, prostitution is the oldest profession. <laughs> And it started in Eden with Adam and Eve when Eve saw a serpent in a tree or by a tree or in, behind a tree talking to her, <laughs> asking her questions, right, about is there any rule in the garden? Mm -hmm. She couldn't break. Mm -hmm. In other words, in other words. And this tree is talking to her or something behind the tree is. Now, it's always been rumored that Satan is the serpent, but unless he's human behind the tree playing ninja to Eve using his penis as bait, you ever seen the worm entice the bird to bite it? <laughs> that wasn't what he was doing, huh? <laughs> no. Just behind the tree or something. <laughs> Where she couldn't see 
the bean, but the bean is only the, the bean is only. That wouldn't make sense in the naivety of Eve that she saw the serpent in the tree limb, <laughs> by the tree limb, <laughs> as well. And it seemed to be talking to her. And she went around to see what it really was, and it turned out to be Satan. Danny Carvey. And then she proceeded to have sex with it as she did Adam. As she did Adam. Right. Except this one was different. It had boobs like her, penis like Adam. So she said, okay, mm -hmm. this one can help me nurse my children if I have children with it. It's good for food. It also has a penis to be desired to make one wise. Larger than Adam, or it looked larger than Adam's. She don't know because Adam's was probably in her most of the time when they were having sex. <laughs> See, this is the reproductive form of God, not the divine form, which is androgynous in nature. Right, because a spirit becoming mortal or flesh or immortal in flesh, right? Either way, either way. Is making a form for it to dwell in. Well, it's an it, not a he or a she. And it also produced the matter it made the body from, right? Starting with the atoms to the molecules, right? See, scientists can't understand the atoms because they're the smallest particle of life, right? But they don't know where they come from. It's almost like they come out of thin air, right? That's because what made them is thin air, right? The invisible spirit you can't see. See, this piano bench has atoms, right? But I have atoms too, right? The difference is God made this threw man into a piano bitch from matter that does not contain the spirit of life, right? I contain the spirit of life, right? This does not. <laughs> okay, therefore, I'm supposed to understand mm, I'm alive, this is not, right? But until I was born by my mom, mm, I was not here. But once my dad and mom conceived me mm -hmm, in her body, mm -hmm, I came out nine months later and was born. Right? Same for us all. Mm -hmm. We act so ashamed of the reproductive act and some people, even if you're gay or straight, want to you know, kind of go against the rules a little bit. But here's the thing about that. Consensual sex, right, versus rape or breaking the law sex, right, is allowed. Mm -hmm. What is not allowed is breaking the law sex, right? Which means, okay, I tell you, if I say, okay, I want to have sex with you, I can have sex with you. If you say okay too, right. but no okay, no play, no play. <laughs> Whole point. <laughs> if you say okay, I say okay. If you say no way, I say no way. Mm -hmm. I ask you. Saying I want to make love to you, you want to make love to me. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All I want to do is make a love to you. One night of love was all we knew. A little bit of heart for you. All right. <laughs> so, when mm -hmm. you're feeling attracted to the same sex or opposite sex. Okay, there's different rules there a little bit because 
Most gay men aren't as committed unless they want to get married under a contract or be like a heterosexual couple, mm -hmm. which is better than being promiscuous under any cloud of witnesses, right? Because a committed relationship is better than a promiscuous relationship, of course. But there again, truth matters over that as well. Honesty matters over that as well. If you have what's called an open marriage, that means you say, if you meet someone you're interested in to your married partner, I met someone I'm interested in. We kind of hit it off, we had sex, and you don't lie about it. Mm -hmm. Even if the person will break up with you, right? Or divorce you, okay? Because they expect, if you're married, to stay within that marriage. Unless, again, you want a threesome or a menage a trois. <laughs> then if you want a menage a trois, you got to involve someone else. That's usually why it's better to be a couple than a triple or triple <laughs> where you involve another person. <laughs> you know, try means three, two, by the way. <laughs> so you, if you do though, or don't, or don't, it's your choice. But once you do the act, don't lie to your partner about it. Don't do it behind their back. Now, Moses was trying to make sure, if you're married, right, you don't have sex with a man when you're married to a, a shot. Not a shah, a shot. Your wife. See, there's a different ending with the word there. <laughs> For some reason, it ends in a T instead of an H. Though, it does the same with Eden, too. And, uh, hmm. Because it uses the word woman at least a couple times, right? In the actual passage. One is a shot, and one becomes a shot with a T. Mm -hmm. Well... Was at one point she just a woman until she and the man had sex or became one flesh? Like, you don't know what that means. <laughs> As well, yet at the end of Genesis chapter 2, they were naked and not ashamed. When the serpent came into the picture, they were suddenly naked and ashamed. <laughs> and they knew they were naked and they were naked. <laughs> Though they were naked the whole time. The whole time. What was different about this encounter with the serpent that spoke to Eve? What did it do with them that they thought was both good and evil? Did it have sex with Adam and Eve? And Eve first and Adam. But who did God tell the commandment to anyway? Adam. Adam. When Eve was still in him. Before she was taken out of him. Now, if you're going to play, let's read the story, let's read the story as it unfolds, not add to it until after you've done that. Right? Then you can figure out if there's more involved because it is a short story version of what Moses believed happened. Right? Okay, the serpent, Satan, was hiding behind a tree, enticed Eve and spoke to her. Because it was a human being. It was a human being. With vocal cords. The only other example of an animal speaking in the Bible is Balaam's donkey, and there was an angel of the Lord present to speak for the donkey. Dumbass. Covered trilogism. The donkey couldn't speak. <laughs> the angel could. <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. So who was the serpent speaking in Eden? Satan himself. Satan himself. In a human form. In a human form. But why don't they tell you this? Because of the way Moses wrote the story, you can put parts of the story in there and misunderstand it. you got to read the whole story. 
That's why God said the man has become as one of us, the angels, who assumed the human form to know good and evil with the evil angel. With the evil angel. There were two cherubims to guard the way of the tree of life as well. The tree of life ain't the body alone, but the spirit that made the body first. See, you go body, mind, and spirit. No, spirit, mind, body. <laughs> you got it backwards. No. Sometimes I call people attacking me on YouTube ass backwards. <laughs> That's what it means. It's spirit that made the first body of the human being through Jesus first, then Adam and Eve. Right? You forget that too. No. Jesus was made first, then all the other creatures, right? Either through him or after him. <laughs> when I say through him, I mean Jesus was made first, and then through him came the second, third, fourth, so forth. So, uh, but he at least made a copy of himself, right? And let it go, and let it go. Right? Okay.